What are the cheapest mods that you can do to increase torque? Hi, I'm Eric. Let's talk about the mods that actually make a difference and give you more horsepower and torque and why they work. Wait, what? The top five are all hype? He says to watch to the end because there's a lot of misinformation online and we're here to tell you what's hype and what's right. Number one, cold air intake. When you think about it, your engine is actually just a big air pump. The more air you can move through it, the more combustion you're gonna have because you need oxygen to get that fire. Cold air is denser, which means that the oxygen molecules are packed closer together. If you've got more oxygen, that means you can add more fuel, which means more power. Couple of caveats though, if a cold air intake is the only mod that you do, you're not likely to see more power, in fact you might even see less. And another thing, if you use a cold air pipe, which is a short pipe to bring oxygen in but it's sitting in the engine bay, you're going to be sucking in hot air and that also might decrease the amount of power you make. No one likes hot air. Dude, the Tesla is the most environmentally friendly vehicle on the planet and you should be a vegan. Number two, bigger throttle body. The throttle body is located between the air intake and the intake manifold. It works like a valve and it actually is a valve to control the amount of air that is being sucked into the engine. Now again, it's part of a whole system. If you just add a throttle body, you're probably not gonna get a lot of increase in power because these parts are designed to work together. Stick around to the end of the video though because there's a bonus component I'm gonna tell you about which is not part of this system and it actually will give you more torque. So so the first two components, the cold air intake and the bigger throttle body, help you get more air into the system. However, if you've got an exhaust that's restrictive, it's going to be hard for those spent gases to get out. Headers on a high flow exhaust system will do exactly that. They'll help get the spent gases out of your engine. However, not all exhaust systems are created equal. Ideally, you want an exhaust system that can evacuate the spent exhaust gases as efficiently as possible. Generally speaking, you want an exhaust system that's gonna help you reduce back pressure. But you also wanna have some velocity to the air to help scavenge the spent gases more quickly. Now, if you've got a system that's too restrictive, you're gonna have high velocity, but you're gonna be creating back pressure because the spent exhaust gases won't be getting out quickly enough. We're gonna try to get through a narrow pipe. And that means you should get an exhaust which is specifically designed for your application and it's probably not off eBay. Number four, ECU flash or a piggyback. If you've done all these mods together and your engine is now able to pump more air through the system, you still need to be able to take advantage of it and that means doing some kind of flash or piggyback system. <sighs> not like that, Ryan. What? What an ECU flash will do is it will allow you to add more fuel when appropriate. It'll allow you to adjust the air fuel ratio across the entire rev band so that you can take advantage of the mods that you just installed. If you have a turbocharged car like my BMW 1M, you can actually make a significant amount of power by doing all these mods together. For example, I've done all these, tied it together with the ECU, and this makes about 100 horsepower more than stock and about 80 pounds feet more than stock. If you have a naturally aspirated engine, you can expect to see a little bit less than that or maybe quite a bit less, and it's really gonna vary depending upon the car. And this, number five, is the bonus torque mod. You've ridden a 10-speed bike, but let's face it, you're probably sitting on a couch right now watching me on YouTube. But if you are on a bicycle and you try to go up a hill and you're in the wrong gear, it's gonna be really, really difficult because you can't apply enough torque. Your power output is pretty consistent as a human. It's maybe one third of a horsepower, but if you're in the wrong gear, it's gonna be really hard to go up the hill. So what do you do? You move your chain to a bigger cog with more gears on it because that actually is gonna give you more rotational torque to the rear wheel. In a car, if you move to a lower gear ratio, that's actually gonna give you more torque to the rear wheels, just like going up a hill in a bicycle. This is a common drag racing technique to make a car launch a little harder, a little faster off the line. And if you like torque as much as I do, go check out my LS swap. I'm dropping an LS engine into my Mercedes SLK because I like torque a whole lot. And if you want to follow me on social media, it's right over here. Chat me up if you have questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video.